Hi folks, my name is Bill Baker and I work for the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife as a district fish biologist covering Ferry, Stevens, and Ponderé counties. I'm going to be talking with you here about a proposal to introduce bull trout into Sullivan Lake in northern Ponderé County. This is a joint proposal from WDFW, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Kalispell Tribe, and the intent is to restore a native fish species while also providing future additional angling opportunity. Bull trout were historically distributed throughout much of the lower Ponderay River watershed in Washington State. However, due to a variety of factors, including loss of habitat and connectivity, they've been functionally extirpated. These fish are federally listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act as they've experienced dramatic population declines throughout much of their range. And this is a species with very specific habitat requirements. Habitat with what we refer to as the four C's, cold, clean, complex, and connected. Bull trout have been ESA listed since 1999. Shortly thereafter, in 2002, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, together with partnering agencies, developed a recovery plan for bull trout in the Coterminous, also known as the Lower 48, United States. This plan was updated in 2015, and an implementation plan for the Columbia Headwaters Recovery Unit was also developed. One of the key actions to aid in recovery identified in the implementation plan, specific to the Lower Pond Array, was bull trout reintroduction. So beginning in 2017, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and stakeholders within the Lower Pond Array conducted a feasibility analysis for reintroduction of bull trout within the watershed. Sullivan Lake was identified as the location with the highest likelihood of establishing a bull trout population. Sullivan Lake is located in northern Ponderay County and is part of the Sullivan Creek watershed, which enters the Ponderay River at the town of Medellin Falls. It's a large natural lake, but the addition of Sullivan Lake Dam in the early 1900s raised the water level an additional 20 feet. Depending on the reservoir level, its surface area is approximately 1,300 acres, and the maximum depth is a little over 300 feet. The surrounding property is managed by the U.S. Forest Service as part of the Colville National Forest. Harvey Creek is the primary tributary to Sullivan Lake, and its watershed consists of about 17 miles of fish-bearing habitat. So what makes Sullivan Lake a good location for bull trout introduction? Well, as I mentioned earlier, bull trout are native to the larger Ponderay River watershed. And they're also compatible with the existing fish community in Sullivan Lake, which consists largely of native species. Although there are some non-native fish species present, both burbot and kokanee are commonly found in waters occupied by bull trout. And kokanee would provide a good forage base for bull trout, which as adults are piscivorous, meaning they feed primarily on fish. In addition, Sullivan Lake has an abundance of cold, clean water, and Harvey Creek would provide suitable spawning habitat. So what would introduction of bull trout into Sullivan Lake look like? What's being proposed is introduction of multiple size and age classes, ranging from adults to fertilized eggs over a period of about five years. Those fish and their offspring would be monitored into the future to determine whether the introduction was successful. And the goal would be to produce a self-sustaining population. This slide shows a timeline for tasks associated with this project. Planning began last year, and we're currently in the public outreach phase here in 2024. Necessary permitting would also be obtained this year and could be followed by introduction of bull trout beginning as early as 2025. Monitoring would begin shortly thereafter and continue into the future. So the next logical question is, where would these bull trout come from? Source stock for the introduction would come from tributaries to Lake Pend Oreille, located upstream in Idaho. Idaho Department of Fish and Game has graciously agreed to provide bull trout for this effort. And because the Lake Pend Oreille population is robust, we can remove some fish for translocation into Sullivan Lake without harming the donor sources. In total, six candidate streams, which are shown here on the map, have been identified. Middle Fork East River, which is actually a tributary of the Priest River, as well as grouse, Trestle, Johnson, Granite, and Gold Creeks. 
Introducing fish from multiple sources would provide a high degree of genetic diversity for the newly formed Sullivan Lake population, giving it the best chance of success. Now I want to stress that following bull trout introduction into Sullivan Lake, existing angling opportunities would remain essentially unchanged. So anglers could still target kokanee, cutthroat trout, and burbot, and the current rules would apply for those species. The one likely change that could occur would be a seasonal closure of Harvey Creek to fishing during the fall spawning period for bull trout, but that's a relatively short portion of the existing stream fishing season. Release of bull trout caught by anglers in the lake would be required until the population had become sufficiently abundant to sustain harvest. However, we would be monitoring the population to determine when a harvestable surplus was available. Although that time frame is unknown, it could and probably would take several years. But in the shorter term, even a catch and release fishery would represent a unique angling opportunity. This slide shows the range of bull trout within the lower 48 states, which includes portions of Washington, Idaho, Montana, Oregon, and Nevada. Currently, there are few waters where targeted fishing for bull trout is allowed. This map shows existing catch and release opportunities, which consists of all waters within Idaho, but just three in Montana, two in Northeast Oregon, and one in the northern edge of Nevada. Harvest fisheries for bull trout are even more limited, with only 14 total in the lower 48 states. One in Montana at Hungry Horse Reservoir, another in Oregon, Lake Billy Chinook, and a handful in Washington State. However, of those in Washington, most of these are coastal streams. With only one, the Lost River in Okanagan County, located east of the Cascades. Now I also want to stress that bull trout introduction into Sullivan Lake would not impact utility ratepayers or result in additional land use or permitting regulations. And because bull trout fishing opportunities are limited, a future fishery could draw anglers from afar, resulting in additional local revenue through expenditures on items such as fishing tackle, gas, lodging, etc. And it's worth noting that there are relatively few fishing opportunities in the northeastern corner of the state where anglers can catch a salmon-sized fish. Okay, so that wraps up the summary of the proposal, which brings us to next steps. We'll be hosting a public meeting from 6 to 7.30 p.m. on April 17th at the Cutter Theater in Medellin Falls. During the meeting, we'll answer questions, hear concerns, and receive input from participants. The meeting will coincide with a public comment period for the proposal that runs through April 30th. If you would like more information, you can visit our website at wdfw.wa.gov slash Sullivan Bull Trout, or you can simply go to the WDFW homepage and use the search bar in the upper right hand corner to enter a keyword such as Sullivan or Bull Trout. That'll get you there as well. Once you reach the web page, you can access the comment portal toward the bottom and comment electronically. Or if you prefer, you can send us comments via email at the address listed here, or call 855-925-2801, then enter project code 6058 and leave a recorded message. There will also be an opportunity to provide either verbal or written comments at the public meeting. Okay, so that concludes the presentation. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to the representatives from WDFW, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Kalispell Tribe listed on this slide. Thanks for your time and interest in this proposal.